Corporations should not be making profits imprisoning fellow Americans. And together we are going to end the so-called war on drugs. We are going to legalize marijuana in every state in this country. And we are going to expunge the records of those arrested for possession of marijuana. And when marijuana is legal all across this country, we're not going to let a handful of corporations dominate the industry. We are going to give support to those communities, the African American community, the Latino community, the Native American community. Help them start businesses to profit off of the legalization of marijuana. And when we talk about broken systems, unjust systems, we are going to end the demonization of the undocumented in this country. On day one, we will restore the legal status of the 1.8 million young people eligible for the DACA program. Under our administration, federal agents will never snatch babies away from the arms of their mothers. And we will pass with bipartisan support a comprehensive immigration plan that moves people toward citizenship. And at a time when the American people are disgusted and horrified by the amount of gun violence in this country, our gun safety legislation will be determined by the American people, not the NRA. And that means there will be universal background checks. People who have violent past should not own guns. It means we do away with the gun show loophole and the straw man provision. And it means we do what a strong majority of Americans want us to do, ban the sale and distribution of assault weapons in this country. Now, I am a United States Senator from that distant state of Vermont. And I am on the floor of the Senate often listening to speeches from my colleagues. And at a time of mass hypocrisy, one of the worst examples of that is when we have conservative Republicans come to the floor of the Senate and they say, hey, we believe in small governments. We believe in getting government off the backs of the American people. Well, I say to those hypocrites, if you believe in getting the government off the backs of the American people, understand that it is women who must control their own bodies, not the government. And my, my promise, my promise to you all is that I will never nominate anyone to the Supreme Court or the federal bench who is not 100% pro Roe v. Wade. We 
will codify, make into law, Roe v. Wade. And we will greatly expand funding for Planned Parenthood. It is women who must be able to control their own bodies, not government. End of discussion. So here we are tonight in Durham, one day before the first primary in this country. And the truth is, not only is the whole country looking at New Hampshire, in fact, the entire world is looking at New Hampshire. So what you do tomorrow is of international consequence. So I am asking you tonight, I'm asking you tonight to come out and vote tomorrow. I am asking you to bring your friends and your co-workers and your fellow students and your parents and anybody else you can get your hands on. And what I'm asking you to do is to begin a political revolution which does two things. Number one, it defeats the most dangerous president in modern American history. But it does something more than that. What it does is begin the movement to create an economy and a government that works for all of us, not just the 1%. We are a movement and will be an administration that stands up to Wall Street and their greed, stands up to the insurance companies and the drug companies and the fossil fuel industry, stands up to the military industrial complex, And their endless wars stands up to the prison industrial complex and stands up to the whole damn one percent. Now, at the end of the day, the one percent and the corporate establishment, and the media establishment, and the political establishment are very, very powerful. I know these guys, they have endless amounts of money and enormous power. But at the end of the day, if we do not allow Trump and his friends to divide us up by the color of our skin or our sexual orientation or where we were born, if we are prepared to stand together for economic justice, social justice, racial justice, environmental justice. If we are prepared to stand together, last that I heard, the 1% may be very powerful, but there are a hell of a lot more people in the 99% than in the 1%. So, tomorrow is an historically important day. Let us go forward. Let us have the largest voter turnout in the history of the New Hampshire primary. Let's win this thing. Let's transform America. Thank you.
And now, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce, for the first time in New Hampshire, The Strokes!